Okay, so we are starting with verse 15. Any questions before we pick up the text? Yeah. But there's also the, the whole concept of a, a, a passive and aggressive, right? So you could be passively just doing it. Yeah, so if you're passively... You're like the church or something. Yeah, so if you're passively being good, then that's not unselfishness. You can call it unselfishness in the sense that the the actions that you're performing are directed towards another's benefit. Mm. So that, to that extent, you can call it unselfishness. But genuine unselfishness is directed by you, the individual, in a conscious way. So this is why he, I always come back to this phrase or this line from the Vedanta Treatise. Um, Thinking is conscious thought force, not mere mental indulgence. All right? And so when you are being unselfish, what it means is that you are thinking in terms of another person's benefit. All right? If I give money to charity but make sure that the, um, the press is lined up to, to watch me hand over the $10,000 check, it's clearly not charity. Now, the charity is benefiting from my money, but it's not a charitable act. I'm buying some publicity. Right? So, so what makes an action charitable, what makes it unselfish, is the thought behind it. Now, what is thought? Thought is conscious thought force. Thinking is conscious thought force. So this is why we say that when we're being unselfish, there is that conscious thought force towards the other's benefit. That is the ideal. So if you're being passively good, then every week or once a month or whatever it is you go and you do your service to a community or something like that why well because i don't know my family's always done it every friday we eat fish or every sunday we go to the temple or every wednesday we go and you know serve the poor whatever it is it's just become a mechanical sort of thing so in that sense it's better of course than you know once a week going and robbing the poor um but you have to recognize the limitation of it. You know, there, there's degrees, and it, it's better than some things, but it's certainly, it certainly still has a, a limitation, that passive goodness. In fact, part of the problem with that passive goodness is that you can sort of get complacent and feel that, well, I'm doing good things, so fine. I've done enough. Yeah, so anytime, we, anytime we're doing it with an expectation of return, of getting something in return, then it's not, it's not genuine giving. It's, as you point out, it's a, it's a transaction. I'll give that knowing that I'll get this, and whatever this happens to be. It could be reputation, it could be you know, the nice feeling that you have after having given, whatever it is, you get something in return. 